this week on Carolina All Out. Oh yeah. Around the main line, man. They're giving them a hard time. It makes it worth coming out to the Outer Banks. Something big and nasty is down there. Chris, you got him close yet? No, he, I, I think I'm getting worse. He's a stud right there. Rolling Amber Jack. And he's going running, just let him run. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Offshore mix bag. This is Carolina All Out. Woo! The United States has the largest inland saltwater and offshore fishing industry in the world. Thousands of anglers from across the globe come to experience this tradition and North Carolina has its place among the top destinations in the industry, offering exciting opportunities to catch a broad range of both tropical and temperate sport fish. The Carolina All Out crew is headed to Carteret County in the famed Radio Island Marina to meet up with Tyler Stocks and Adam Diedrich to engage in a famous NC tradition, offshore fishing. Oh, looks like the boys are already ready to go. Hey, Tyler, good morning. Adam. Good hey, morning. man, looks like you guys see you. Good to see you guys, too. You ready to get so on? Permission to, to come aboard? Come on yes, aboard. Sir, welcome aboard. <laughs> hey, looks like you guys are ready to go. That's right. We've been getting everything ready this morning. Getting ready. Well, what's next? We're going to go catch some bait here in a few minutes and see if we can fill this live well full of some fresh menhaden and uh, get out there on them bottom fish. All right, I'm ready to go. Yes, Man, sir. I just like feel like I got here and you guys are already ready for me to take off. That's how we, know. That's how we like it right here. You're getting well, full ride with us let's today. Let's do it. Oh, it's a nice morning. Yes, sir, it certainly is. Catching bait is priority number one when we're doing this deep sea fishing thing. And so we're off the back of Harker's Island. You've got Tyler on the front and Adam is watching and they're working as a team together and he said, I'm seeing them break here and there. And they weren't all together in a big ball, they were spread out. So whenever we had an opportunity and the time was right, you throw the cast net and see what you come up with. Oh yeah. That'll do it for us. We uh -huh. got plenty of bait prepared for the day. We're gonna go out there and see if we can get on some nice fish. Right, good deal. So we've made it out here to exactly where we're gonna be. That's right, yes sir, we're on the spot. We're on the spot, and so we're using fresh squid. And what we've got is, you call this a chicken rig? Yes sir, this is called a chicken rig. It's a simple bottom rig. Uh, tie myself, all you've got is a swivel going to your rod right here from your main line. Um, and then I take my 80 pound test leader and tie a two uh, overhand knots and make a loop. And then you just put your hook on the loop just like that right there. It's a circle hook. Yes, sir. Got a circle hook. Three all circle There's another hook. one about, what is this, about 18 inches below the yes, other one? Yes, sir. 24. That's right. Same, same, same thing. Same thing. And then down to your weight. That's all it is. Simple. Easy as that. All right, guys. If you got them yeah, boxed really and loaded, you can go ahead and drop them. All right, here we go. Drop them down. Uh-oh. Got him on. All right. No, didn't take long, did it? Mm -hmm. there, there, there. 
jump. And I think she jumped on him. Let's see if we can get him up for it. Got him hooked up? Yep. All right. Doubled up right here. This is some bottom fishing at its finest right here. You aren't joking, man. I've got a beautiful vermilion snapper right you here on this rod. coming up. One coming up. One. Like, no, you've got a porgy. That's a called a scup porgy right there. Y'all keeping them? Yes, Keep sir. Them. That's good eating right yeah, there. Good play right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, so when you're ready to drop down to the bottom, it's going to go straight on down. And you said down there, what we're going to be look, what you would be looking at is a, a ledge of sorts, or a. Well, we're on a little bottom. bit of a live bottom out here, so um, it should be some some small growth on the bottom. Not really as much rocks as it would be uh, like um, seaweed and stuff like that. Right. Small growth on the bottom, and these fish will congregate down here and and eat that stuff and eat the littler fish that are eating on that stuff as well. Gotcha. When you're fishing in a hundred feet of water, that is a lot of cranks to get a bait from a hundred feet up. And so it takes time. When you hook up, that's just the fun part, really. But 100 feet of line to get it in will wear you out. I mean, by most people's standards, we would be light tackle fishing here with this setup right yeah. here. Yeah. It's a really light spinning rod, catch these nice snapper. Beautiful fish. Ain't great. Yes, sir. There you go. Nice. Over the rail and in the pail. Isn't that what they say? Uh huh. Right, man. Oh, you got upgraded. Oh, he's off. Shark? Yeah, shark. Like a shark. Barracuda yeah. or something got you. Yeah. Came up through that water column. That's what we call getting upgraded right there. Something big. Decided to make one. We'll be fish. right back with more offshore fishing right here on Carolina All Out. <laughs> Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Browning, the best there is. New sports shop. We've got the gear. And by Farms and Land Realty. Selling land is what we do. Don't go away. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. Trying to play for two? I'm hoping so. You can come out here and use all the heavy tackle you want, but this spinning tackle right here and braided line is the way to go. This will wear your arm out. Beautiful one. Yeah. Pretty. Pink. How beautiful is that, huh? Just nice. Plump fillets. All right, dropping down again. There he is. Mm-hmm. He's doing some fighting. And plentiful, lots of fun. It makes it worth coming out to the Outer Banks. Back over through, just like Alan says. 
anymore. Hope I don't get upgraded by Mr. Yeah, Shark. Keep him down there too long. I already paid my taxes this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh yeah, we just did. Look right here. Look, look, look. Something nice has just upgraded us right here. Barracuda's Big barracuda. Barracuda. Huh? Barracuda's got cool. us right here. Look at that. He left me with almost nothing. Look at him. When you're cranking up to 100 feet of water, you're coming up through shark, you're coming Master up through fishing. amberjack, barracuda. There's a number of fish out there that can upgrade to. And that's what you call paying your taxes. Everybody's got to do it. We might have his amberjack on here. He's burning you up, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Now if I can just get some line back. <laughs> that's what we came for, to see some drag screaming, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Saw the amberjack come up right behind the boat, and uh, they pitched him a live, live menhaden that you see. I saw his catch this morning, and he uh, he piled all over it. Chris, you got him close yet? No, he, I, I think I'm getting worse. We'll be right back with more offshore fishing right here on Carolina All Out. Hi, my name is Ben Berg with New Sports Shop, and we're here today to talk about safety while participating in our sport. One of the things often neglected is skin protection while out in the sun. At New Sports Shop, we carry a full array of items to help protect your skin uh, from any UV damage that you'll get while outside. To start, we always apply our sunscreen. I'll do a cream to start with before I go out, and then while I'm actively participating in the sport, I'll make sure to use a spray. It's just a little easier. It doesn't get on your hands or anything like that. In terms of sportswear, we like to focus on things that have a UPF rating. UPF, unlike SPF that you'll find in sunscreen, never goes away. These garments will protect you from the sun for the life of the garment. Every time you go to purchase one, be sure to look for a UPF label. And if you can find one like Columbia that has the approval of the American Skin Cancer Foundation, um, that's even better. It's a third party system that checks and makes sure that that, that number is accurate. If we don't pay attention to the tender areas of our face, sunscreen will protect that for so long, but if you're like me, you forget to put that on after a couple hours, especially if the fishing's hot and heavy. So uh, I have become a big fan of a net gator or buff. We sell a full line of uh, Tilly hats here. We also sell ball caps. Last, we can't forget how important our eyes are. So UVA, UVB rays can damage our eyes especially over time, especially if you're outside a lot. Here at New Sports Shop, we sell a lot of different sunglasses that will protect your eyes. Polarization is important on the water because it allows you to uh, see through the glare, but the very important thing for eye health is 100% so UVA, UVB protection, like you'll see uh, from Costa Del Mar. If you'd like to learn more about skin protection and what items to protect yourself from the sun's harmful rays, please come see us at New Sports Shop. We'd be glad to help you. The box is filling up with all sorts of fish as full ride captains Tyler Stocks and Adam Dietrich are putting host Chris Douglas on some hot fishing action. There you go. That's what we came for, to see some drag screaming, right? Yeah, that's right. You want the belt? I do, he's digging into my side pretty good. There you go, go right in there with him. There you go. Now we can. I get a little and I lose a little. Good haul. That's the name of the game here when you get fighting big fish. Whatever I gained, I just lost just then. Coming up, I might need a gap. Oh, there's the other one. The other one's with him. Yeah, he went back down, I think. I seen him go back. You still see him? Bring him up here. Yeah. Oh, yo. Beautiful fish, Chris. What an amber jack. Huh. Got him. Oh, oh, there you go. Awesome. Oh. Let him beat you. Puppy. Good work, Chris. Good well, hey, you guys knew what, you were, what was going on. That is a fish. Amber jacks. People know them as reef donkeys. Those things pull like crazy. Um, not overly hard to catch but they are fun to catch. And so we got in some amberjack and it was a blast. 
um, to bring those big guys in. They're so heavy, so big. They look so pelagic, so oceanic. I love catching those guys. Hey, there's another one with him. If you want to grab that, grab that rod. There's two or three. Let's see if we can get another one hooked up. See, we see another uh, another fish with him right here. We got a live menhaden. I've got a bear hook ready. Hook the menhaden. I'm going right out with it and see if we can hook another one up here. He's on it. Uh oh. He's yeah, we got it, him hooked buddy. up. That's how we do it. That's how we do it right there. Pitched to him and hooked him up. I'm gonna come under. Love to hear that drag scream. Look at that fish. Best tactic for fighting a big fish like this is when he's going running, just let him run. There's nothing you can do about it. He's got to set your drag right so he can run. Let him run and peel that drag off. That's what we're out here for, to hear that right there. So no point in trying to stop him right now. Oh, just lost him. Unfortunately, that's why they call it fishing, not catching, you know. It was a nice fish and he got away, but we're gonna go get his brother. Amazing what you can feel on this braided line. We were fishing with light tackle which was really awesome because you get the full effect. I mean, it's braided line, spin cast reels. I can't explain how fun it is to have something like 30, 40 pounds on the end of a light tackle like that, and he's giving it all he's got, and you're doing all you've got to pull him in. Right in the corner of the mouth. Let me see him. Right in the corner of the mouth. Let me bring him back this way. He's hooked just perfect with that little circle. He might go to run, but be ready. Yeah. Got him here. Got, got him, folks. Yeah. All right. I'll let Tyler hold on to him, but there's a there is an amberjack right here off our coastline of fish, maybe 25 pounds, 30 yes, sir. pounds. That's right. Probably about a 30, 30, maybe even 35 pound fish right Just here. Just a beautiful fish. Love those amberjacks. They have this big line that runs up for makes makes them look angry almost, you know? Really just a beautiful fish. That's right. And uh, one heck of a one heck of a fish to catch for sure. Absolutely. More real burning action coming up on Carolina All Out. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. DNZ Products, precision scope mounts and scope rings. Miopta Sport Optics, see more, hunt longer. And by the Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sporting event. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Host Chris Douglas is aboard the full ride with Tyler Stock and Adam Dietrich, catching a mixed bag of bottom fish as well as amberjack. fish. All right, so what we got here is uh, two different species of amberjack. I'm holding a lesser amberjack, or some people call it an almaco jack, and Adam's got a greater amberjack. Both really good eating fish. I prefer the almaco better, but one and the same. Full box at 11 o'clock. What are we going to do? You got to stop catching them, Chris. <laughs> nice big amberjack right here. Oh. He does not like the look of this boat, does he? 
When is it that boat? <laughs> did good work. For a long, long time, as long as we've been able to get offshore with large boats, we've enjoyed this type of fishing. And these guys are good in North Carolina. We have the Big Rock tournaments that are here. We have other tournaments that are up and down the coast, the King Mackerel tournaments and everything that's there. I was part of that scene. I enjoyed it. I love it. I want to be a part of it again. What an impressive catch that we made today, and it was all due to the expertise of Tyler and Adam here on the full ride, coming right out of the Radio Island Marina here in North Carolina in Beaufort. And it was an exciting time, fun. I mean, look at this, amberjack, beeliners, or vermilion snapper, whatever you want to call them. We've got trigger fish. We've also got some other stuff right up there at the front. What do yes, we have sir. there? We got some grunts, porgies, and sand tiles, some great eating fish. We had a great day today. I gotta say, I'm worn out. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling, I'm, I'm I'm telling you all night. <laughs> Guys, look, we are so, I'm sore up underneath my arms. I'm sore right here and here where I'm putting fishing rods. Biceps are burning. It was an awesome, excellent time. Offshore fishing for bottom fish and some other stuff yes, that don't right. quite go to the bottom. Mixed bag. Mixed mix bag. bag. We'll call it a mixed bag. But anyway, this is great stuff, and we did it all right here on Carolina All Out. Casey. I don't catch a fish. Time for you to run the camera a little bit. Ain't like no great. easy, even the camera guy can do it. <laughs> Bottom like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time. Talking about Uh, I don't feel like it's really getting me that good. It's like a shadow that's stepping me. Easy.